Samsung comes clear on the existence of the Bixby Voice Assistant, and boy is this thing different. We get details on the future of Microsoft Surface Book, and they aren't that good. And HTC announces its U Ultra Sapphire Edition, along with all of its restrictions. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, for those of you asking where I get all the awesome t-shirts, you can learn more in the first link in the description to rip the apparel. This is Pocket Now Daily. official news today begin with deals, necessary deals if we should say so. For those of you that found that the LG watch style was overpriced and agree with me, uh, the watch is currently available for a crazy $100 off on Best Buy in different color variants. We're talking about $189 for a really good Android Wear smartwatch. You can learn more in the description. And how about if we discuss one of the most popular games in iOS right now that has just made it to Android. We got some teasers on Super Mario Run reaching the platform very soon, but we didn't get an exact date. So set your calendars. March 23rd is when it will be available. I highly suggest you wait for it. And uh, yeah, you will be paying the same 10 bucks if you want to get the full premium experience of all the rest of the levels. So remember that teaser of HTC announcing something in Taiwan on March 20th? Well, today's March 20th, and it turns out that what we have is the new HTC U Ultra Sapphire Edition. We actually heard that this variant was going to exist back in our briefing at Las Vegas. Turns out that uh, this is an exclusive variant, 128 gigabytes, you get a Sapphire display. All this is great, the only problem is it's obviously a limited edition, one, two, it'll cost you around a thousand bucks. Uh, if you're in Taiwan, you can learn more in the description as apparently it will not leave that market. Other set of interesting news that I don't know if I should consider positive or not is what we hear about the future Surface Book 2. We fell in love with the Surface Book and its design and the whole concept of it being a tablet but having performance on the base and all that was great. Problem is implementation and deployment was kind of terrible on the first variant. And then the second variant pretty much did everything that the first one should have done but it still didn't really meet the powerful demand that a lot of people expected from it. So we hear from trusted sources that apparently that form factor is going away. It seems that we're getting a typical clamshell laptop in the future that will be focused on performance. And uh, it's kind of sad to see the Surface Book go from its current form factor because I found it really cool to have it be a tablet whenever you want it or a computer whenever you want it. And finally, the very hot news that they have to do with Samsung and Bixby, as the company has pretty much just announced its new voice assistant. And there are a ton of very interesting things that are coming here. This is apparently not going to be like the Google Assistant. First of all, it seems that Samsung is calling it its uh, voice agent instead of assistant. And so what we get is the typical context awareness that we already get from the Google Assistant in Siri. We also get more tolerance on voice commands. You don't necessarily have to memorize one thing specifically. But probably one of the coolest things is that for all those applications that will be Bixby enabled, and we don't assume that these will be many, but let's say that those applications out there will support it. Well, those will actually be able to be operated by Bixby, meaning menu controls and everything. You will be able to control your app with your voice. This makes a lot of sense for when you're driving or in particular reasons where you just can't be holding the phone. It makes a lot of sense, but it leads me to the question of the day. Do you think that uh, the market is going to go crazy with this platform, specifically just for the Samsung Galaxy S8 at start? Or do you believe that Samsung should just stick to what works, which is the Google Assistant? In my case, because of those ways to operate applications through voice command, we would love to see that. So find Samsung, let's see what your R&D department has brought to the market and leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.